Hi, Mary Jones here. We are at Folly Farms right in Simsbury. It is Ron's Run for the Roses Kentucky Derby Day. With me is Barbara Foley, the woman behind all that's going on today. Barbara, tell us the story behind today's event. My husband, Ron, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 2004. During the year that he, he fought it, I realized very little was known about the disease, and it was a very devastating disease. It's the fourth deadliest cancer, which I was never aware of, and I just felt after his death that I wanted to raise awareness and therefore hopefully find an early detection method that will save lives. And that's what this is all about, pancreatic cancer research and awareness. I'm here with one of the key people behind today's event, Mr. Tony Sisti. Let me ask you, if I may, what is your involvement? I know you've been involved with Ron's Run since the beginning. Right, so uh, Barbara is a neighbor of mine and asked me how we might be able to grow this event. And uh, last year, uh, we took it from her front yard in West Hartford, which was very nice, but it was kind of more of a uh, intimate setting. And we needed to take it to a public forum. So the more people here, uh, the more we can spread the, uh, the excitement about what we're doing here today. We're celebrating life. So uh, Ron is with us in spirit, and that's kind of the thrill of this event. Well, I know we're looking forward to another thrill this afternoon, among many, and that has to do with a parade of Ferraris. And I understand you had something to do with that. A little bit to do with that. So I reached out to uh, Charlie Lenore, who's a personal friend, and he is president of the uh, New England chapter of the Ferrari Club here in uh, uh, Connecticut. And he graciously uh, stated that he would get me somewhere between six and twelve prancing horses and for those that don't know the symbol of ferrari is a horse and they call them the prancing horses so there'll be a parade of prancing horses right up front Here with another important person of Ron's Run for the Roses event, Jennifer Lochran, who is a member of the steering committee. Can you share with us kind of a rundown for today's events? One of the main features of the event is our auctions and the ways to raise money. So we have great auction items, silent live auction, raffles, mystery bags, um, a special bling sale for these beautiful earrings. So um, that's one of the most important parts. We're back here. We have 4000 We have $4,000. $4,000. about things that may be different this year than in the past? Well, we started this event three years ago in um, my brother's backyard. And then last year we began this event here at Folly Farms with um, a much smaller tent. And each year it gets bigger and bigger. So about 10 years from now, this is going to be an amazing event. Well, you guys, we, uh, first of all, saw you on the news. Oh, you Second of all, on the radio coming in, they were talking all about it. Yes. Like, Ron, Ron's motto was go big or go home and this is getting bigger and bigger every year and Barbara, Barbara deserves all the credit and all the volunteers that are working with her and it's just we're thrilled to be corporate sponsors. What do you think Ron would say about the event? <laughs> Well, I know my brother very, very well, and first of all, he would be very humbled and very proud of his wife. And he would also be kind of embarrassed. He was a very, very quiet, unassuming modest. man, very, very modest man. There's a lot of good feeling inside that tent among the people um, to support the sponsors. We are looking for sponsors, and there are different levels of sponsorship. And this is one organization that really helps to promote the sponsors. Uh, they understand that if they do well and it's a good experience for them, that they'll be happy to work with us again. We had a great time. We had a great, and I think everybody left with a smile on their face. They seem to have such a great time. So that's the key. Next year, hopefully, they'll come back. Mm -hmm.